Is on top of Because you're about the same distance from the edge as LT is from that edge. So it's pretty it's pretty even. If you lean up like that. What's the word? It's Chris Parker STL. We back reviewing some more shit. Chris got too fried. So this is the <laughs> Ace Lure Anonymous drop. The honey banana live rosin. I do love the packaging. The packaging is legit. It says right here, genetic strawberry banana and honey boo boo. Notes, honey, banana, and cream. Description, true to its name, the strain has an unmistakable banana dessert aroma and flavor that follows. I think it smelled extremely good. It smelled just like bananas to me. What, what, what do you think it smelled like? You're just going to pass this off because you don't feel like it today. Yeah, <laughs> You've done this too late in the evening. He's medicated. He's highly medicated. Well, I think it smells really nice. Dude, I'm really so excited good. to try it. Heat up your torch so you can hit it. Dude, chill. I'm trying to get good right terps off of it, all right? I do smell a little bit of banana, all right? It smells like a uh, banana bread or... Banana bread at work, bro? Hell yeah. Those are only 50 a gram? Yeah. This thing looks 150% better than anything from the dispensary inside and outside the box. Because yeah. the quality of the hash, I can already tell, is better than anything I've seen come out of any local dispensaries. And the packaging is up to par. The only difference is it just don't have the actual metric stuff on there. The thing I don't like about the packaging is, is that it's kind of boring. I think also if you're going to go this far, then you got to have, you're going to have branded stuff, not just a sticker on the side of it. Yeah. Like if, if you're going to do it, go all the way. I ain't smoked the ash yet. Tyler's so stingy with it. Yeah, I definitely get like, I feel like I get more of the honey than the banana. Like it smells really sweet. I guess there, there's some fruitiness to it. I get more honey. Smell, I, I get slight, like a honey, like very slight banana bread. The honey banana that I'm used to is from way back in the day from like two years ago from these guys called Water Boys. That is like true honey banana in my opinion. This is kind of just more on the honey side of everything. All honey, no banana on the terps. But on the smell, you definitely get a little bit of banana. I'm definitely feeling like nice in my eyes, heavy in the nose. I want to cough, but I don't want to be a bitch. Yeah, no, it's decent. Not necessarily the honey banana I'm used to, but it's got some unique flavor and terps on it. I don't get much banana out of it. I smell more of the honey, I guess. Uh, I do smell the banana. It's really slight. It looks like it's going to dab well, though. It goes on the dabber really nice. I'm interested to see what it tastes like. Huh? I get more of the banana. It's more honey than it is banana for sure. Yeah. It looks really nice. The consistency of it's really nice too. Yeah, consistency is nice. Color is really nice. It looks oh, like, nice. like pudding or something, you know? Right, or like, like peanut butter mm -hmm. almost. Sticky enough to stick to itself. I will say though too, like shout out to Anonymous for like, their packaging has gotten better. Because remember when they used to just do like the little, like the Mylar bags? I Chris liked the, the Mylars. Mylars. And oh. then they had the big design <coughs> on the inside. I think they had the best That was, Mylar. that was cool. I won't lie, that part was really cool. Like you opened up the bag and it was just that like anonymous logo it all was inside. It as fuck because the puck already has the branding on it. So it I was mean, unnecessary, but it was just like flex. Yeah. That, that was what was I cool mean, like LT it. said, it was, if you're going to do it, do it big. I feel like Ace Lure's logo should be somewhere a little bit on the box. On some real shit, regardless, it's miles ahead of any other <laughs> packaging. I personally think if he's going to do collabs with brands, I feel like their logo should be incorporated somehow. But it's not a collab. It is a collab. No, it's not. Also, it's the same. Same as the Bear Grows Bluegrass thing. It's just not in-house cultivation. I still think their logo should be incorporated. You shouldn't just have their name. That's how I feel. I, I like get it. I'm just fine. saying we don't critique any other brands this hard on packaging. If you team up with a packaging brand, because like that's what Anonymous is, right? It's still its own brand. They just don't have in-house cultivation. He sourced from other growers. He don't grow it himself. Yeah, but he doesn't process either. He doesn't actually make hash either. He yeah. just puts it in a package. And that's a lane, though. <laughs> that That's exactly I, what... I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting at. But he's not a packaging brand. It's still a full-fledged cannabis company. It just doesn't have in-house cultivation. Sure, but I mean, what he does is package. <coughs> right? We, we can all agree on that. He told me, it whenever I met him, that he came up with all the logos, all the designs on the boxes. He very, very carefully selected everything that went on these boxes. He is the one who brands and comes up with all of these boxes. Yeah. He does everything for these boxes. He doesn't make cash, though, right? No. 
And he doesn't cultivate, right? So since he doesn't cultivate and he doesn't process, my point was his whole job really is the package. <laughs> I mean, he gets the product from whoever, but he he is he makes the packaging. He does that. That's what that's what his part of the chain is and then distribution. If that's his job, then he has two things. One of the things is he gets to choose whatever because if you give up the right to somebody to package your brand for you, then you're giving up your say-so in that or your label on there. They're, they're the packaging people. And then on the other side of that, if that's his job, then I would have stepped it way up because as part of my collaboration, I would have done something far and beyond. I'm curious why there's a California label on there when neither one of them are in California. He's not exclusive to Missouri. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let me talk about my dad. Not talking shit, but that's what I would like to see is more collaborations on the packaging. Yes, I know it's your brand and you want to like go all out with your brand, but I also feel like some of these brands could also use a little bit of help. I definitely did not really get any kind of a banana taste at all, but that's not a problem. It tasted great. It was really like honey and cream. I definitely got that. Yeah, honey which, and cream, yeah. Which is nice because like everything that I've been smoking lately personally has either been like gas or like trop terps. This is a very, very heavy departure from that. I think it's pretty nice. I haven't smoked Anonymous in a long time and this is definitely better than pretty the last nice time. time. Yeah, shout out Ace Lore. This isn't bad. Is it better than the last drop? <laughs> I only smelled something from the last, I only smelled the pink Starburst from the last drop. I didn't try it. Yeah, I haven't heard necessarily positive things about the last one. I didn't get to try the last one, but I did not hear good things either. I think this might be the first, maybe I smoked it once before. The first anonymous drop had like rainbow belts in it, didn't it? That was a long time ago, right? Yeah, it was yeah. a long there time ago. There was one anonymous drop was that I got, and I really don't even remember what yeah, it was. That's the newest, the most recent before the Ace Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so look, this is what happened. I don't know what the fuck happened for real, for real, but the audio fucked up. So for the rest of the review, the microphone was recording, it says, but there wasn't any fucking audio there, even though it says I have all the recording. So I apologize, Anonymous. Shout out, y'all. We enjoyed it. Thank you.